the company that has provided the gadget of today has built it the Burj Khalifa building in Dubai, the Petronas Towers in Kuala Lumpur, has a revenue that surpasses Apple in almost 300% and also manufactures military equipment. This company's name is of course Samsung and so I welcome you to another episode of Home Gadgets in which I'll make my honest review of the Samsung Galaxy Note 9 in 2021. Design and Build Quality the frame of the Note 9 features a brushed metal exterior that merges near seamlessly with the phone's Gorilla Glass screen and backplate. This feels smooth and cool under the skin and is only interrupted by the Note 9's various ports of cooling and audio vents. A plus is definitely the Note 9's build quality as this device is IP68 water and dust resistance which for a device that costs nearly 400 euros in its base configuration it surely ensures a more than welcome benefit. Now don't you get any ideas on making the phone a Jack Cousteau diving partner? It is good to have this kind of protection but I can say this, diving with this phone into a swimming pool is like trying to land a plane without fuel and expect that everything's gonna be alright. You just don't do this kind of thing. I'm happy to say that Samsung still provided this model with a 3.5mm headphone jack in order to meet the desires of true audiophiles. Ergonomically, the fingerprint sensor displayed on the back is more than suitable and the power button mounted on the right side is much appreciated. In sum, every single penny you invest on getting this bad boy is surely worth of it. It sure looks and feels like a premium flagship phone. Display and Hardware As far as display goes, Samsung makes a straight point. There is absolutely no contest here. The 6.4 inch Super AMOLED display installed on the Note 9 clearly shows us that Samsung is still miles ahead of the competition regarding visual experience through this display. The 18 by 5 by 9 infinity display ratio on the Note 9 is simply put one of the best displays available even in 2021. This screen is supersized and it offers rich and vibrant color reproduction, strong brightness, high resolution, picture sharpness, HDR support and lush curved glass absolutely steamroll through the competition. From streaming HDR movies from Netflix to enjoying a couple of rounds of intense hand-to-hand -hand combat in Dragon Ball Legends to reading the fine, fine contact and on to taking notes and taking some time out to pen some epic illustrations with the Note 9's S Pen digital stylus. These phone screens makes it an absolute pleasure. In terms of hardware, the Note 9 is still holding on in a very respectable way among Android and iOS smartphones. This bad boy still has some serious specs. The Galaxy Note 9 comes packed with the Qualcomm Snapdragon 845 processor, 128 gigs of storage, 6 gigs of RAM and a 4000 mAh battery. Benchmark tests aren't really my thing, so I can only say this, multitasking, gaming and the S Pen are a win as everything goes smooth and without any hiccups. Simply said, the Note 9 in terms of performance is still an excellent all-rounder. Performance Something that makes the Note 9 very distinct is its S Pen and in the Note 9 Samsung has taken the stylus to a whole new level, only surpassed of course by the Note 10 Plus, Note 20 and Note 21, haha! -ha. This S Pen in particular has Bluetooth built it in, which allows us for some pretty darn neat shortcuts including the ability to open the camera app and take pictures. Be honest, that level of performance I believe is quite comparable with the one presented by the nowadays flagships. Overall, the Note 9 is a technical juggernaut in terms of screen and internal hardware. One thing in particular, the S Pen does need to be charged, which is done when housed internally in the phone. However, only 40 seconds of charge time will bank you around 30 minutes of standby battery. Extract the S Pen and you can quickly write on the screen, select texts, navigate through the web and take selfie pictures. Better said, the S Pen makes the Note series from Samsung the best productivity tool you can have as far as modern smartphones goes. Overall, then the S Pen is far from a simple gimmick on the Note 9 with the addition of a Bluetooth connection. It results into some neat new functionality that you can perfectly use on the go. 
Moving on to the audio department, the Samsung Galaxy Note 9 comes packing a set of AKG tuned stereo speakers, Dolby Atmos support and an in-built equalizer along with selectable UH key upscaler as well as the Adapt Sound are fully integrated on this phone. Naturally, for the full virtual surround sound effects that Atmos can deliver with 360 degree audio capabilities, you do have to fit it with compatible media. Messing around with the phone's equalizer also pays dividends when switching between, say, listening to vocal heavy podcasts and electronic music albums. Lights, camera, camera. The Note 9 features two 12 megapixel rear camera lenses and a single 8 megapixel front camera lenses. The dual aperture rear setup allows the Note 9 to switch between an f1.5 aperture for low light photography and then a 2.4 aperture for regular lighting conditions, granting the phone with excellent adaptability when shooting, especially when conditions get overcast or dark or when the light is flat. The secondary rear camera on the back of the Note 9 also comes packing a 2x optical zoom, allowing for some pretty decent zoomed in telephoto still shots. Both rear cameras come packing optical image stabilization too, which I found most useful when pulling out the phone to take quick snapshots. Moving round to the front of the Note 9, the 8 megapixel front camera now comes loaded with a first for the Note series, a front facing camera with autofocus, which is anything, helps to exploit the other major new innovation this year, the Bluetooth packing S Pen digital stylus, more on that soon. In terms of shooting modes, it is business as usual for Samsung with a lot of shooting options available. This includes Auto, Pro, Panorama, Live Focus, Super Slow Motion and AR Emoji Selfie. There's also a new scene optimizer built in too, which can automatically adjust images in terms of colors, sharpness and contrast. One particularly fun feature in the camera department, it's the AR Emoji. <laughs> The process of creating your avatar is fast and when you've created it, then you can add it to your emoji list on the Note 9's menu system, meaning you can easily call upon them and insert them into messages. Lastly, while the Note 9 offers many video recording options in terms of resolution and frame rate, with the phone topping out at 4K 60 frames per second, it doesn't support HDR recording, but it's slow motion or better said super slow motion recording capability too remains impressive with footage capturable at 960 frames per second at a 720p resolution. Picture quality goes, the Note 9 even nowadays will not disappoint. Daytime pictures reveal saturated colors, a balanced exposure most of the times, lots of detail and good edge detection. White balance is also on par. The telephoto lens, when used in good lighting, is definitely a plus. Panorama shots reveal good rendering, nice preservation of detail and almost unnoticeable distortion. Video quality is quite excellent regarding preservation of detail and stabilization. Exposure is something of a mixed bag with some footage revealing some overexposure. Super slow motion is quite spectacular and is very very close of the result offered by Xperia phone from Sony, but in the case of the Note 9, it's more easy to capture a moment in which you want to time slow down. Hyperlapse mode is a blast, offering similar results to the ones you can find on an iPhone. Selfies are perfectly usable for Facebook and Instagram, but nothing to write home about. In the presence of strong light sources, the scene tends to become overexposed. Night pics are really good, but sometimes you can occasionally get some light flaring. Most of the times you can anticipate this problem by cleaning the lenses before shooting. Night videos are definitely on par with the picture quality. In sum, as far as picture quality goes, the Note 9 offers very respectable performance. Battery life. Well, the good news is that the Galaxy Note comes packing a plentiful 4000 mAh battery, which not only feels suitable for a super powerful flagship phone with a massive 6.4 inch Super AMOLED screen, but also far more competitive with its rival devices too. Nevertheless, this is where things get a bit dicey. Almost 3 years have passed since its launch, and battery life is no longer a win. 
In fact, I can barely hold a full day, and if I go into a power usage mode, it will definitely die before bedtime. I have found a solution for this by getting a Mophie battery case. It is true that some bulkiness and weight are added, but autonomy through the whole day is no longer an issue. This isn't a massive issue, just as it isn't with the vast majority of smartphones, which, like it or not, are still very much locked in a daily recharge cycle, be it in the evening or overnight. It is important to mention that you do get both fast charging and fast wireless charging capabilities in the Note 9, so at least refilling the phone's tank is a rapid experience. The Verdict the best question you may ask yourself on the decision of buying an older phone is to buy or not to buy. With 3 years old, the Galaxy Note 9 is this, if you can find it at the right price, still worth buying in 2021. The Note 9 seems to have completed a transition from productivity powerhouse for work-oriented smartphone enthusiasts into simply a phone that can excel across the board, delivering a piece of hardware that can make gaming, listening to music and watching TV and movies, as well as mobile computing in all forms, with no compromises. You can get one nowadays paying for around 400 euros. If you have the same impression of battery life I had, I'm glad to say that you can expect to spend only 50 euros more in order to get a battery case that will help to increase the weight in your pockets as well as providing a guarantee of autonomy throughout the whole day. And this is it! I hope you've enjoyed the video, please subscribe to the channel in order to not to miss more gadget reviews like this, if you have appreciated it, please give it a thumbs up, and if you didn't like something, please state it on the comments. And please don't forget, you've heard it best at Home Gadgets.